Hi all, in today's video, we are going to dive into the exciting world of creating stunning presentations instantly with the help of incredible Tommy AI tool. Let's begin. This is part 2 of multi-part tutorial on Tommy app. The link to part 1 is provided in the description. In part 1, we covered Tommy AI tool introduction, how the tool can be accessed, how to sign up for Tommy, creating your profile, how credits are used, how to start creating a simple presentation. In this video, we are going to go a little deeper into few of the topics. First, let us log into the Tommy application. I type in Tommy in my browser and then hit enter. Now I am logged in to my Tommy account. Click on the create button here and here at the bottom we can enter the prompt. I am going to give this prompt to Tommy and let it generate the slides. I entered my prompt here in the command bar and then I am going to press enter. You can see it is generating the outline. Here I click the continue button. Tommy is now generating the slide. You can see it has generated 8 slides. You can take a look at it briefly. It is saying about this machine learning, introduction, deep learning, natural language processing. Because our prompt was about the AI revolution, exploring the latest technological advances in artificial intelligence. If for some reason, if you don't like the slides it has generated, we can click on try again button and then it will generate the slides again. Let us do that. Here is my prompt. What are the major technological advances in artificial intelligence? I hit enter now. It's generating the outline again. I'm okay with the outline. So I press on continue button. It is generating the new slides again. Oh, it said presentation created. I briefly go through this different slides, introduction, machine learning, natural language, processing, computer vision, robotics, future of AI. I think this is okay. What I'm going to do is press on the keep button. Now I will show you some of the major features of the Tommy application. Suppose I don't like the theme that is generated by Tommy. I don't like the dark colors. What I can do is I can click on this set theme or we can press alt o now you see we have two buttons here tommy and page you can toggle between these two if we change the theme when tommy is highlighted the theme will be changed for all the pages that means entire tommy application if you want to change the theme only for a specific page then you can do that by clicking the page button let me go to the page 3 here i don't like this theme i come back here press on set theme click on page and then i change it to light okay now we see just the page number 3 has been changed to light color mode whereas the other pages are still the same original theme now i don't want the setting to be only for one page i want to make my entire presentation in light color what i can do here is come back here and then i make sure the tommy is highlighted and then i want to switch to light mode there are also different other modes here like you can click on this ocean and see how it looks then i can click on the mass and see how it looks similarly you can experiment with different themes here this is a cream color it's neptune mosau and then dune and then canary so we have seen all the settings here but i want to go with the light color so i click the light color now you can see entire application all the slides have been changed to light color that's how you can set the theme for your tommy you can set it for the entire slide presentation or you can set it for the specific page let me close this now you can see it has generated eight slides suppose i want to add one more slide there are multiple ways it can be done one way is i can click on this plus icon or i can press alt n or i can invoke the command bar you can see here control k once you press control k it will open up the command bar i want to open up the command bar here we can see we have different options and i want to look for an option where i can create a new page so it is now asking me to choose a layout so the new page has eight different types of layout here you can see the first layout is having heading and paragraph the second layout is just centered text the third layout has heading paragraph and you can include an image the fourth layout you can see it we can include a heading and we can have a table inside that the fifth one is we can include a media just a single file and the sixth one we can include media but up to three files and the seventh one we can include media and two texts and the last but eighth one we can include the text and three by two media that means three media a cross and then we can have two rows of three media files what i would like to do here is to add one page with heading and text that's why tommy has generated eight slides for our presentation i want to add one new page about references i can do that by invoking the command bar by pressing ctrl k and then i can select create page about 
and type in what should be included in the page what i would like to do is to add references based on which this presentation has been generated i'm going to type in reference and then hit enter we can see tommy is now generating a new page that is having the references right so we can see it is giving us the references it has used to generate the slide presentation i'm satisfied with the references here and i'm going to say keep the references page we can see all these references has been generated by the tommy application automatically by applying artificial intelligence it's a cool feature suppose i want to add a new page with an image i'm going to select this layout i come here and click on this upload button i'm going to navigate to a directory where i have the file that i want to upload so i want to select this image So we can see we have a new page added here with our selected image and we can access the image settings here by clicking on this icon we can look at the image settings we can explore what different tile settings we have here by clicking on this plus sign we can see we have one two three four five six ten different tile settings here we will cover some of the tile settings in this video and we will cover others in the next series of video what we are going to cover in this is the text tile the image tile the video tile then we will also cover the twitter tile we can easily duplicate a slide by right clicking on the slide and then selecting duplicate now you can see slide 9 is a duplicate of slide 8 and also we can see some of the text settings here we can change some of the text settings here we click in the slide in the text area and then we see to the right text settings button we click on the text settings button and we can see the text can be left aligned or center aligned i have changed the alignment by pressing the center aligned or i can change it to right aligned now let me go back to the original setting we can also change the position of the text it is now towards the top of the page we can change it to the center of the page we can also change it to the bottom of the page now let us go back to the top of the page alignment and we have the style of text we can change the style of the text suppose i want to change this to a different style so i highlight that text that i want to change and then click on this and then select whichever i want to choose for example i want to display it like a title now it has changed it to title let me change it back to heading again so it is back to heading now similarly i can change the text to a list suppose i have listed some points I can make them like a bulleted list I will select the text and then hit this icon to change it to a bulleted list or I can make it like a numbered list by clicking on this now it has become a numbered list we can also make other settings for example if you want to underline a particular portion of the text I can highlight it and then click underline and we can also change the color of the text if we want to i want to highlight this and then click on this set color i can set it to red you can see my text has changed it to red color so we have various options here we have a lot of uh, text settings here that we can make now i will close the text tile and suppose you don't like the image that has been generated by tommy and you want to change this image we can do that by clicking on the image and then you see the image settings tile is available now we can click on the image settings we got various options here now so we can also play with the size of the image here right now it is fill i can change it to fit you can see the image size has changed and I can also make it custom we can do the adjustment here like we want to reduce the percent like you 
can make it 52 percent or we can increase the percent make it 145 percent i just want to cancel the changes that i made so i just click on cancel i can say go back to the original setting of fill we can also change the background color for example i hit on the fit button here and here you can see the background color is white or no color i can change it to a different color by clicking here and then selecting a color that i want to change it to here you can see it has changed it to red color close this out click on the image settings i can go back to the original fill size and i also have an option of giving a caption i can say i want to enter a caption on the top and type in ai robot so now i have a caption here i can also change the position of my caption to bottom so here it appears at the bottom i can just go back to the original setting of none no caption is displayed let us say you want to change this image and use a slight variation of this image what we can do is we can click on this create icon now you can see the original prompt that has been used by tommy to generate this image is here and we can make slight adjustments to this prompt we can give our own prompt we can add something here i will add watercolor to this and then see what happens you can see it has generated four different images if you like one of them you can select one of them suppose i want to select the second one so the image has changed so we can see this is the way we can modify the image that has been generated by tommy let me close this go back to the image settings again you can also upload your own image suppose i don't want this image at all and i want an image of my own i can do that also i click on the upload icon i have another image that i want to use i have changed the image and uh, i am using my own image here so these are all the image settings that we have seen let me close up the image settings tile suppose you don't want the image at all you can also delete the image completely by right clicking in the image area and then clicking the delete button or you can also press backspace you can see the image has been deleted and now instead of an image you want to use a video what we can do is click the plus sign here so that we get the different tiles that are available to us that we can use i want to use the video tile and then drag it onto the slide so we can make various settings here we click on the upload button and then this is the video that i want to use i have selected that video and there are other settings that we can use here we can use click on the fill or we can use a custom setting here we can adjust the size i want to reduce it i want to keep this size so i will click on this done button and also i can trim my video click on the trim and i can cut it down suppose i want to trim it this way and then click on the done button video trim saved there are other settings we can use here auto play i turned it on and if we want to use caption that is also available here by clicking on this we can place the caption on the top or at the bottom i can also change the background color of the video for example i want to make it no color at all in the background so i click this one we can also click on the no color let me close the video settings tile suppose i want text and the video to appear side by side just click on it and then drop it here you can see now the text and the video are appearing side by side and let me play this video once you can see the video is being played now let me open up the tiles again we have seen the text tile we have seen the various settings we have also used the image tile and then various settings we have seen 
we have covered the video tile and the various settings that we can make with the video tile now we will see how we can work with the Twitter tile let me add a new tile here by clicking this plus sign and then I will select the heading and text tile here I'm going to type in tweet example now I want to insert my tweet here I will click on this add tile icon and then drag and drop the Twitter tile onto my slide what we need to do is we need to paste the Twitter link here we need to go back to our Twitter account and copy the Twitter link that we want to paste here let me go to my Twitter account and what I would like to do is select this tweet and share it on the Tommy slide and then you click on the copy link to tweet so now we have that link copied let us go back to Tommy slide and then paste the URL here you can see that my tweet is appearing here so just one thing to keep in mind your tweet needs to have the proper permissions in order to show here if you want to delete a slide you can click on the slide and then right click and then click delete or alternative is to click the backspace when you are on the slide suppose I'm on the slide and then click the backspace that slide is gone and suppose you want to delete your presentation entire presentation can also be deleted you right click on your presentation if you want to rename you can rename the presentation or if you want to duplicate we can duplicate it if we want to delete we can delete the presentation by selecting delete from this menu now that presentation is gone we covered many features of Tommy in this video we have seen how to change a theme we have seen how to add a new slide and what are the different layout options that we have for the text we have seen the different types of text settings we have seen how to make different image settings how to load our own images and how to load our own videos and how to change the video settings we have also seen how we can use the Twitter tile as you see there are few more tiles Giphy tile, Figma tile, table tile, air table tile, web link tile, and framer tile we will be covering some of these tiles in the next video one more thing to keep in mind is the Tommy has only iOS version if you want to use it on your mobile phone it works only for the iPhones Tommy has plans to release Android version also in near future we will provide an update when Tommy releases Android version. Hope you got value out of this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let us know in the comment section below.